There we go. Didn't take the first time. Hey everyone, how we doing? Uh, we're gonna be playing the PC version of Monster Hunter World today. It's pretty darn exciting. Uh, it runs really, really well. We can mess around with some settings. Somebody was actually giving me a good tip. Uh, Pre-stream that there was a there was a volume setting that we could turn down if we were having trouble hitting 60. Um, and so we're gonna take a look at that. Yeah. It runs really, really well. It looks really good. Um, you guys will get a chance to see it. If you have any questions, I'll answer them to the best of my ability. And we're going to be playing the Charge Blade. It's also going to be somewhat nostalgic because we'll be going through the early portions of the game, which is pretty nice. Um, and just to let you guys know, the volume might be a little rough at first. So when I first go in here, if you're having trouble hearing my voice, we're going to have to turn down the volume, uh, and we'll be right there. So we're just going to turn this down a little bit so you guys can hear me a little bit better. We're going to turn it down to about 70. That should be good. <clears throat> um, and then we'll get on some missions, and we'll see how it runs. Yeah. But it looks really good, it runs really well. I did, so I was running it when I first got it, I was just running it with default settings out of the box, essentially. Um, even though it didn't come in a box, it came in a code. And I was running it on medium and was getting 60 frames, no problem. I've boosted it up a little bit, um, and so we'll have to see how it goes. We'll mess around with it. So uh, we got VSync on, we're targeting 60 frames, we're prioritizing resolution. Here's all this stuff if you wanna hear it. Uh, the volume rendering quality, I believe, is what was having it be not hitting 60 frames. That's what somebody in chat was telling me. Uh, I don't actually know that myself. I haven't verified it. What rank are you? Oh, we just started the game. Let's see. Progress does not carry over um, from PS4 to BC, so we're starting fresh. Streaming and playing on the same PC, you'll get a noticeable hit in performance. Yep, I know. It's the only option we have. Um, that's just the way it is. That it, <laughs> We're a little bit limited in terms of... We can't get... I can't buy my own uh, streaming PC. So we're going to have to deal with this. Uh, but yeah, I believe they wanted me to turn off the volume rendering quality here. To hit 60. So here are the settings if you guys want to see them. And we'll see how we go. Oops, now we want to apply the changes. And we'll get started with our first mission. Uh, I'm really excited to be using the charge blade. I've wanted to, like, main it for a long time. I'm getting voice chat in-game. Here, we can turn that off. Even though we won't be playing with anybody, it'll just be me today. We're just showing this off. Voice chat off. Now you can't hear the game? Alright, we'll turn it up a little bit. Turn it up to 85. We're going to have to fiddle with the audio a little bit. So if you guys can just be patient with that, we'll get it to a point where everybody's happy. There you go. Ben's getting the charge blade hype. Yeah, I've used a, it a little bit before. But like now we're going to make a serious effort .tm. Alright, so we have to accept the Kestadon Kerfuffle quest, which I don't even remember what that quest is. Um, but before we do that, we might as well, like, take a look at our base on PC. It's night, but that's okay. So we get a nice little cutscene, seeing the Gathering Hub. Man, it's nice seeing the Gathering Hub look better than ever. Let's go. Were there any allies who were disappointed that they couldn't join you? No. No, no, no. Nobody's disappointed. Yeah. As you can see, the beautiful gathering hub. We can get a tutorial telling us what the gathering hub is. Telling us what the arena is.
Welcome to the we arena counter. I don't have my headphones on. Uh, once we get into the quest, let me know if the volume is good for you guys. Will you do a review of the PC version of Franchise? We'll definitely talk about it. Um, we'll be kind of doing a live review because if you guys don't know, I've said it a couple of times, but if you didn't catch it, uh, we'll be streaming Monster Hunter World on PC weekly hunts. So if you guys are getting the PC version and you want to hunt with me and you want to hunt with this great community, and like there are really good people in our Monster Hunter community. We're not like huge or anything, but there are really good people who really know their shit. And so if you want to get involved in the Monster Hunter community, definitely play with us. Um, if you've been waiting for the PC version, now is the best time. Like weekly hunts is so much fun. Uh, people are very active. We do this every week, or we try to do it just about every week. We don't always hit it, but we try to do it as often as we can. So we'll be doing the PC version of Monster Hunter World, and then those of you getting Generations Ultimate on the Switch at the end of this month will also be playing Generations Ultimate and going through that and killing a bunch of monsters. I'm really excited to fight Zenogre again. It'll be fun. All right, so let's do a quest. You guys have seen the HQ. Let's do the Kestadon Kerfuffle. It is lame <laughs> that progress doesn't carry over. I'm kind of excited to start again. Like I said, it's weirdly nostalgic, but uh, and it'll be good to practice the charge blade and stuff like that, but um, it is kind of a bummer that you don't have the option for stuff to, to carry over. I'll let you guys watch the canteen animation. Greatest animation 2018. Monster and Switch supports cross save data from generations on 3DS. Swordfish, you're absolutely right. And that's a very good thing to bring up. So if you're hesitant or on the fence about Generations Ultimate, uh, Swordfish is right that it does carry over from the 3DS version. Good call. Which range weapon would you recommend for new players? Um, I don't I haven't really messed with the light bow gun all that much, but I've used the heavy bow gun and the bow, and I think they're both like pretty reasonable to learn. Um, I personally really like the bow quite a bit. Uh, I was actually watching, I was, it's, I've watched it multiple times, but I was watching uh, Eric's. He's a really good guy on YouTube. It's A-R-E, okay. I think K-K-Z, <laughs> it's something like that. Wanna get going? All right, so we just have to slay some Kestadon. Not a big deal. He does really excellent videos on Monster Hunter, uh, Monster Hunter World, and then Gaijin Hunter does also really great videos. And so if you're interested in any weapon, like the bow or the heavy bow gun, I would check it out there. We haven't messed with our custom menu at all. Oh, God. No, no, no. We don't want that. All right, so advice to new players. Um... By default, the radial menu is when you point at it with your stick, it'll just activate, and I really don't like that. Um, I like having to press, so that way you don't accidentally select something you don't want. So if you go into your radial menu, rather than just releasing the stick and having it select, uh, you actually have to press it down. I have to click in the right stick if I want to sharpen, and you can change that in the options menu. If none of that made any sense, I understand. This is this is not out yet, just to be clear. Um, we got an early copy of Monster Hunter World on PC, and uh, they said that we could stream up to three hours of it. And so I just wanted to show it off to you guys so you can see how it runs, how it looks. Um, obviously, you can see in the title that my setup isn't the best, um, but I still think uh, it's been able to handle it just fine. Those, my friend, are Kestadon. Let's see you take them out on your own. Huh. Alright, so let's take out some Kestadon. Poor Kestadon. Let's also gather some herbs, huh? We did not need to do that. Oh, actually, we're taking out Absinoth. Whoops. I love those lows sound. That's 60 frames per second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the best part about it is the, the 60 frames. I don't know if we're quite hitting 60 right now. We might be in the 50s, but... Damn. 
Let's get some non, some actually threatening. Not number four monsters. All right. Can the frames be unlocked then? I actually haven't looked. That's a really good question. Uh, we can look in the menu in just a second. But yeah, I believe I believe they can. I believe that the answer is yes. Let's go into the options here. All right. Let's look for another group. Yeah. Be careful. So we can do no limit. We can unlock those That's frames for you. Your worries. There are a lot bigger monsters lurking in this forest. The endemic life around here can come in handy during a hunt. Try to learn as much as you can right, about it. So let's sharpen real quick. Man, I wish this came out at the same time as the P as the PS4 version. Yeah, it would have been really nice. I do hope that there's a really healthy community on PC, though. Um, this version seems really great, and although they took a long time to release it, I'm glad that it just seems pretty excellent out the gate. Like, it runs really, really well. It looks fantastic. I hope people get behind this, and I hope we get more Monster Hunter stuff on PC. There is no crossplay. That is correct, Garmore. I'm sorry, I stupidly thought an Apsonath was a Kestodon huh. at the beginning of the stream. Be careful. Alright, here, actually, can we? Give me that stun. For me, no question PC, I care way too much about the first 60 frames per second. Yeah, it honestly... Like, it's a pretty transformative experience, playing so much Monster Hunter World on PS4 and then playing it on PC. Like, it just feels so much better. It's crazy. Like, it's... If you are serious about Monster Hunter, I honestly think it's very, very, very worth it. Okay, so let's... Let's try to get our shield charge. Oh, no, no, we have to deposit... Okay, sorry. It's been a while since uh, Charge Blitz. So we've got to deposit the vials, and then we can storm into our shield. So we go into the elemental discharge here, and now we have our shield. Now we have our sword, our sword charged as well. Look at that. Yeah, 
We're getting the hang of it. Slowly but surely. Wait. Hey, come here. I think I found something. Camp could always be bigger. Okay. Yeah, let me know if you guys have any uh, suggestions or feedback here. We can actually zoom in the cam a little bit. It is a little zoomed out at the moment. How's the female character working out for you this time around? It's nice. You know, we, we were playing as Geralt before, and now we're playing as a lovely lady. She kind of, I mean, definitely the hairstyle, but kind of resembles the handler. It's Over here. a little funny. She looked different slightly when, than when I, because uh, when you make her in the character creator, they look a little different in game. But. Hmm. Look at those Kestodons. You are a little dark. Okay. <clears throat> we can, t we'll fix the game for you guys. While well, this great Jagras is eating, fix the cam. Now, now! Punch in a little bit. Gotcha. Boom. All right, partner. New assignment incoming. And then here, I'll get some more light in here. Great Jagras. If you're not ready, you can return to base and take on the Great Jagras quest later. Want to get going? If you need to call your friends for help, go there. to the menu. That's a little there. SOS flare to signal them. And you're going to need friends um. when you go up against some of the tougher monsters. In order for the scout flies to better track a target monster, we need to keep finding traces of it. Like footprints, for example. Somebody said, will Ben go to the dark side and main charge blade? I thought charge blade was the light side. I thought charge blade was, was the path to goodness. Ben, is it weird starting over? It's a little bit weird starting over. You know, you don't have everything that you're used to, but it's also kind of nice, right? Like, it's it's kind of fun having the game make a spectacle out of some of these monsters again. Being like, oh no! A great Jagras! It's the path to steamrolling. Is that not the path to the light, though? Really, if we want to be r super helpful, we should main Hunting Horn. That's what we should do. But, yeah. Good. I've wanted to do Charge Blade for a long time. We'll see how it goes. I don't know, Ben. I, for sure, the PC version looks and runs a lot better, but I put 500 plus hours into the PS4 version, gotten tons of gear and decorations, don't know if I can do it all over again. That's totally cool. I understand that. Uh, and I don't blame you. I, I think that's a very reasonable decision. It's just for me, you know, I want to get the community involved and I want to hunt with as many people as possible. And I like the 60 frames per second. Um, so that's why I'm making that choice. I think if I, you know, wasn't in charge of weekly hunts, I may not do it, but yeah. Um, but yeah, obviously I'm going to be a little bit awkward and terrible with the charge blade. But if you see anything that like I'm consistently doing wrong or things that I can improve on, happy to take tips. Uh, weekly hunts is supposed to be instructive as well, so keep that in mind. And yeah, if you guys have any questions about Monster Hunter or if you're not familiar with it, I'll try to answer those to the best of my ability too. Okay, we've tracked the Great Jagras enough for the scout flies to lead us to it. There, we have to level up our Great. Dragorous research, guys. If you use the focus camera. Your wildlife map keeps track of where you are and where the scout flies are taking you. You can also use it to keep tabs on monsters. Base game can loop is so good I could enjoy it at 20 frames per second. Yeah, absolutely. I agree with you. I, I'm honestly not sick of this game. I mean that in my heart of hearts. I, I look forward to playing this every week. Why, why are you running away? Come back to me. I keep meaning to do the charge there, but I gotta stop holding the stick. Cause I'll run forward like that. I sheath too much. It's a great sword, bad habit. You might use mouse and keyboard or the controller. That's a good question. I actually have not tried mouse and keyboard yet. <laughs> 
and I'm a little bit intimidated too. I've been using a 360 controller. Uh, but yeah, we haven't really had any frame rate problems that I've noticed. Chat, you might be more eagle eyed than me though, so let me know. Yeah, I believe we're we're at 60 or very close to it. Okay, it's down. Now's your chance to get in there and tear it up. put it in the shield man the charge blade like just from a design standpoint is probably my favorite like what a creative weapon all around that and the insect blade i think like creatively are my two favorites all right let's see if we can end it. no we fucked it up we got the charge though Ah, uh, we hit him a little bit with that. The scout flies as a guide and will lead you right to him. But he ran away. Okay. Why are we using our potions? We should be using our first aid meds. Deal some serious damage. Can someone please bring Celeste to Easy Living, please? Uh, unfortunately, we have our Easy Living schedule planned out, and Celeste is not a part of it. We do need to give more love to Celeste at Easy Allies, though, so don't stop trying. I, I'm with you, man. Here, let's see if we can sharpen real quick. We're low. These early weapons! You need to sharpen them all the time! Nope. You're not gonna let me do it, are you? Uh, we should try to be cool and get some guard points. Let's see how well that works. Go range filth, never sharpen. Yeah. Yeah. Chat, realistically, what range weapon should I use? I don't know. I didn't even need to ask that. I want to use the bow. That's what I want to use. The bow's just so sick. Come to me, Great Jaggers. Maybe we should use bow on the next hunt. Uh, somebody was telling me that you don't want to charge for bow to get max DPS. Like, this was a long time ago that somebody told me that. Is that accurate? That seemed counterintuitive to me. Cluster heavy bow gun is chaotic evil. It's a very funny comment, Mr. York. Oh, I read that as Mr. York. I must have Radiohead in my head. Mr. Yoke. Not Mr. York. Okay. Yeah. There we go. And the big one. That right there is why I love the charge blade. I mean, from a design standpoint, it, obviously it's really cool. But uh, just that big elemental discharge is so much fun. Hope Ben learns to use the non locked on cam one day. I do. I use non locked all the time. 23 Skiddo. Where you been, man? 
Look, the monster's almost done for. Chances are it'll retreat to its nest to recuperate. I alternate between uh, locked on and not locked on for hunts. Um, like if you watch the uh, Kulve Taroth fight, I alternate between locked and not locked. Are you playing on PC? Yep, we're playing on PC. We actually uh, got to preview code to check this out on PC. And it's been a it's been a blast. Yeah. What if you just stopped moving here? What if you just stopped moving? Here, let's. Do you think the PC controls are worse than controller? I actually haven't played on mouse and keyboard. Um, so I can't comment on how good mouse and keyboard is. I just instinctively wouldn't want to uh, because I have access to a controller, but that is something that I should mess around with. Um, since I have a controller and I'm, I'm used to it already, that's kind of what I gravitate to, but uh, yeah. Can. Are you noticing much difference between the versions? Uh, the 60 frames adds a lot, and it looks sharper, for sure. It's it's a pretty noticeable upgrade, definitely. Like if you've been waiting, I think you'll feel pretty happy with it, honestly. Uh, there are a couple of bummers though that we've already talked about. There's not crossplay, um, and you're not going to be caught up to date with the console versions in terms of updates. You're basically going to be at where the game was when it first launched, uh, which is fine because there's a lot to get through. So I don't think it's that big of a deal. But yeah, maybe do some bow hunt with mouse and keyboard just to see how the aiming is. That's a good idea, Schmuck Ford. We can do that. Yeah, like I said, I haven't messed around with it, so I'm, I'm, we're going to be figuring it out together. But uh, yeah, we can try mouse and keyboard for sure. To see how I access like my radial menu and stuff. Being behind on content is a weird dilemma. I wonder how they'll be able to catch up. Yeah, other, like, on console, Warframe is behind PC. Um, there are several examples of it being that way, so... I don't know. Just vanilla Monster Hunter World, like, at least for the first month, you've got a lot to do. I wonder if they'll kind of accelerate how quickly PC gets things, though. We'll see. Cutscene time. I think we gotta leave. Hmm. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Let's check it out. What's the file size for this game? Uh, when I installed it, it was about 20 gigs. So pretty reasonable. Um, that is not exact, just around 20. Oh look, it's the Bouquet Bouquet! Well, you were right. There's our From mark. that hit song. Something's got him agitated. <laughs> look over there. What in the heck is that? I've never seen anything like it. 
You think it's from Zora Magdaros? I'd like to find out. But we better report back first. All right? Um, so the release date for this game, if you're interested, is August 9th. I'd actually forgotten it. I was looking up on Steam on my phone. So if you're interested in Monster Hunter World PC, it'll be out August 9th. Again, we'll be doing weekly hunts. We'll be playing on PC. Um, and then when Generations Ultimate comes out, we'll be moving to that as well. So let me know if you're interested in hunting, what you plan on maining, all that good stuff. That's right. At the beginning of the game, it just kind of ups you per hunt. Hey, we got a Steam achievement. Look at me, Mom. Call your parents, let them know that you got a Steam achievement. Uh, yeah, I'm not looking forward to fighting Zora Mandros again, but it won't be too bad. I see. Uh huh. Want to get going? Okay, let's Once switch over to mouse and keyboard. Up, you can go after that uh, we'll try a bow. Hmm. Where we'll see how awkward this entries. is. Okay, so you run with shift. Obviously, look with the mouse. This is going to take some getting used to. I wonder how you lock on. Let's take a look at our key bindings. Oh my god. This is too much. Okay, so we can crouch and dodge with space bar. <laughs> oh no. How do we... Display, slinger, reticule to C. Okay, that makes sense. Draw a weapon is control or your middle mouse button. This is gonna be a mess. PC next Sunday, Ben? Yes, we will be doing PC next Sunday. Uh, the game will be out then. No, the game won't be out then. Uh, no, we might do we might do another hurrah of console weekly hunts. It's been a while since Ian has been on, so I'd like to try to hit, get him on there. But then after that, we'll do we'll do PC. Uh, because pre-release, we can only stream up to three hours of this, so we're a little limited. Where's the lock on? Focus, okay, so it's F. Aha. Aha, aha. Reload, apply coding. Okay. Feels right to give at least one less on console too. Yeah, it'll work out just about perfectly, huh? Next week should be Behemoth. Yeah, I'm gonna try to do Behemoth. We haven't finalized it yet, but I'm gonna try to do Behemoth on the on launch on launch day. Can we hook up Congress to this? I'm sure you could make it work somehow. Weekly hunts with Donkey Congas would be hype. All right, let's make a bow. Yeah, yeah. We don't have any iron ore. That's okay. What are your tips for beginners, Ben? Um, what I've seen most often, I think, from just the Easy Allies community when I've talked to people, is I think they get frustrated because they don't know what weapon to pick, and then they don't understand everything that their weapon can do and a lot of the weapons are pretty complex admittedly um, like if you don't make an effort to learn about him i could totally see you being frustrated and so i would suggest trying out all the weapons and then the ones that you like pick like maybe one two maximum three and then look up guides and see what they're capable of and then practice that in the training hall and go from there that's what i would suggest All right, we got to speak to the provisions minister. Let's do that.
Um, mouse and keyboard doesn't seem too terrible so far. Obviously, we haven't, like, hunted yet. So, we'll see. Oh, you are too good to me. <laughs> Don't let me down. There we go. Bounties. Sure. Sure. Okay. Um, I'm going through this stuff pretty fast just because. I want to hunt, but if any of this is confusing or you don't know what I'm doing, you can ask as well. Happy right now, to answer any and all stare. questions. If you want to go on an expedition, open your world map and choose your destination. For this expedition, we need to head to the ancient forest. We can expand expeditions as we delve further into the new world. Pretty good incentive to explore, right? Um, how many of you are getting Generations Ultimate on Switch? Can I see a show of hands, please? You on highest settings? No, we're on high settings, but we're not on highest settings. Can't skip Matt Mercer VO. <laughs> He's good. Matt Mercer's good. Give him the love. Sure, but you can't see your hands. You can do emote hands. You can do it. What's the average uh, FPS you get? I've been, I've been getting 60 frames and very close to 60 frames consistently. Um, the campsite first, or if you're lost, this game seems pretty well optimized. Use your scout flies to track me. Whenever you leave the base without signing up for a quest, you'll go on an expedition. There's no time limit or cap on how many times you're allowed to faint, which means you can explore to your heart's content. You can use the item box to manage your inventory. We probably don't even need to worry about Mega Potions yet. Ben, this looks unreal good on PC. It looks so good on PC. Yeah, it looks great. Here. I don't know if there's an FPS counter in the game. Is there? Some games have them. Uh, but yeah. In Steam. I mean, honestly, man, when I say we've been getting 50 to 60, I promise you it's true. Okay, how do we do that? The so control is draw weapon. weapon. You can charge. Focus on your distance while loosing arrows. Okay, so that's how we bring up the... Charge, okay. Got it. Yeah, it's V. It's V to bring up the reticule. And then what is it to apply coding again? All right, where are the controls? R. How do I cycle through coding? Mouse wheel, interesting. All right, so let's take a look at this. Yeah, okay, so you can just you can just do it like that. We actually didn't huh. We didn't get the paralysis coding in camp. That's okay. Looks buttery smooth. Yeah, doesn't it though? It's been nice. Now this is interesting. Let's I actually don't know how to turn on the FPS counter on Steam. I didn't even know that was a thing. That sounds really nice.
Well, I gotta admit, watching the stream is making me very excited about the game. Good stuff, man. Yeah, it's been fun playing it. We'll see how killing something on mouse and keyboard looks. Okay, and so we can target with F. Cool. How do I... How do I, um... Dodge their attacks. Oh, I roll Another with space. Like that That's right. Okay. Got it. Oh, jeez. The, when you move the mouse just a little bit, you'll switch targets, and that can be a little jarring. Um, but I'm sure it just takes some getting used to. Here, and then we can do... <laughs> we tried to do our Dragon Piercer. It didn't work out too well. Yeah, so you hit R and the right mouse button at the same time. Mm, okay. Mm, okay. Mouse and keyboard sounds like a good excuse to use more charge play. I don't know if I'd want to do charge play on mouse and keyboard, to be honest with you. Bow makes sense to me. Bow makes sense, but I don't know if I want to do charge play. All right, and then we apply coating with R. There we go, so we can take that off. And then we can sheath. Got it. Oh, hey, it's a great Jaggers. Hi, friend. What is map? Is it M? It's M. Look at that. back to camp simply by selecting it from the wildlife map. Who are these footprints? Is this a ZT a coup? Is it going to be holding some eggs? Then in Monster Hunter Switch, you can have two palicos. More palicos is always good. I just am excited for Prowler mode. And Brave Style. Great sort of brave style. Let's go. So east and west can join you. We should name them east and west. You're right, swordfish. Whose footprints are these? I believe those are Sitsi Yaku footprints, but I could be wrong on that. They look very chicken-like. Just uh, right-clicking to pick up stuff is nice. Pretty simple. You can assign a target destination for your scout flies on the map. Yeah, prowler mode is gonna be hype. Very excited for prowler <laughs> mode. <laughs> well, hi there. Fancy meeting someone new out here. Um, the reaction to the Switch version will be interesting. It doesn't have the same quality of life stuff as Monster Hunter World. Um, yes, that's true. Um, but the Switch version will have a lot of things that Monster Hunter World doesn't have. So, you know, it'll have, it'll have styles. It'll have Prowler mode. It'll have a lot more monsters. And so, yes, it won't have a lot of stuff from World, but it'll have a lot of its own unique stuff as well. So it's kind of a give and take.
we don't take care of that past, the camp won't last the night. Oh, yeah. Hey, look, it's the Sitsi Yaku. Or it's the Kuli Yaku. I was saying Sitsi Yaku is the one that flashes you. Okay, I'm getting my monsters mixed up. The Sitsi Yaku is the one that flashes you. I meant Kula Yaku. Boy, we're, we're messing up monster names today. the wildlife map and switch to the world map. Then select Astera. Then select it. Okay. How do I... There, we click and drag. Okay, so how do I go to the world map? Shift. Got it. Okay, does he want me to go back? No. He wants us to hunt. So he's like, you can either hunt it now or you can go back to camp. Okay, no problem. Um, we can try hunting it now. Well, no, let's go back. Let's go back. Uh, somebody asked, hey, should I use mouse and keyboard for the bow? I have barely used the mouse and keyboard. Um, the aiming is really nice. It feels good to aim. When you're locked on, it'll switch between targets uh, in a way that it seems a little bit sensitive. And I don't think like doing the key slash mouse combination is as good as doing the button combinations on the controller for special moves. Um, but I think if you put the time in, it will feel totally good. I think, I think it's good enough if you want to go that route. Why would you lock on with mouse look though? That's a good point. You you need the lock on less with mouse. That's a good point that you bring up. So yeah, maybe you could just avoid that problem by not locking on. Good to see you. Good luck. All right, let's log in. Try remapping. Uh, honestly, I'm just going to stick with the controller. I'm glad we messed around with the keyboard, but I don't I don't really want to play with mouse and keyboard. Alright. Let's see if we can upgrade our switch axe here. Or our charge blade. Not switch axe. Let's see if we can upgrade our charge blade. I always forget frame trap is bi-weekly. Yeah, so there won't be a frame trap this Monday. It'll be next Monday. Look at that. Look at that. Can I upgrade to this node? Oh, we have to make a bone one. Okay. Here. Let's make a bone charge blade. Thanks for at least trying out for us. No problem. No problem. Can kind of give you guys a very brief look at it, at the very least. Yeah, if you want to send a question to Frame Trap, uh, email askeasyallies at gmail.com. Look at how sick the uh, the Jagger's charge blade looks. I like it a lot. Fashion hunts already, boys. Can we harvest yet? Can they let us harvest yet? Have to watch the Warframe stream. Did he like it? Yeah, I'll be streaming more Warframe next week. I don't know when or for how long, but yeah, I'm in. I'm in on Warframe. I had a blast that first stream. It's super beginner tutorial stuff, so don't expect anything crazy, but I had a good time. No, we can't harvest yet. That's fine. Mm, that's fine.
Damn, that blade is insane. Doesn't it look cool, Talk 9? Kulu Yaku. Not Tsitsu Yaku. Kula. Kulu Yaku. I just think of the this guy, I just think of eggs every time. That's what I think of. You know what? You know what we're gonna do, chat? In honor of weekly hunts, this is what we're gonna do. We are going to... We're gonna pop a vouch. That's what we're gonna do, we're gonna pop a vouch. Impressions so far, uh, it's a pretty substantial upgrade, man. The 60 frames, um, just the improved graphics options, it's really nice. I wish there was crossplay. Um, I wish they let you carry your characters over. But nuts and bolts of it are real good. Real, real good. Now let's eat real quick. Give me that. No, what do we got here? Let's do this. Surprised he hasn't noticed the insanely short load times? Oh, I've noticed them for sure. I just thought it was obvious, to be honest with you. Hey, it loads faster because it's on PC. We get a special uh, Kuluyaku holding a crystal for the Final Fantasy XIV event. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. It looks so good. Domini was telling me that um, it uses... Monster Hunter rules for that. No more reading tips. Oh, you can still read them. At least on this setup. All right. How many of you are doing the 14 event? Just FYI. Let's hunt the Kulu Yaku. Install an SSD? No, it is not installed an SSD. I actually don't have an SSD. Which is a shame. Give me them prints. I'm hunting behemoth for, for sure. Hopefully we get with some uh, Discord peeps. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure people will be hunting it on the Discord and it'll be a good time. Apparently you can't use a Farcaster to escape the behemoth meteor. Nice touch. That's an insanely cool touch, Render. I love it. Here we go. It's behind me. It's a nice looking charge blade. Yeah, this is the uh, the first stage of the Jagger's charge blade. It's really nice.
Have, have you finished Octopath yet since you were putting Warframe on the list? Um, that really doesn't have anything to do with putting Warframe on the list. Uh, but I'll be wrapping up uh, Octopath today and tomorrow. I almost feel bad killing this guy, so cute. Yeah, we've seen- we've definitely seen some concern for the monsters this stream. Bringing it down, boys. Time to charge up. Ben, if a monster is struggling to, to, you can move to avoid it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we do that. We've mounted to many a time. Uh, we're on the high preset for graphics at the moment. Ben, you used to play on the PS4 or PS4 Pro? I played on the PS4 Pro. Um, in fact, I've never played uh, Monster Hunter World on a base PS4. Um, and so I can't really tell you what that experience is like. Um, but I played on PS4 Pro and I did the prioritized re resolution option.
Man, the charge blade is so sick. So powerful. Like it it almost feels unfair, especially with the beginning monsters, like just how much damage you can do and how consistently you can apply it. Like with the Great Sword, for instance, you get really high damage. Um, but you have to pick and choose when you get those giant numbers, whereas with the charge blade, like you can just consistently apply so much damage. It's insane. What are my favorite monsters from Monster Hunter World? Uh, New Gigante is my absolute favorite. Um, I think Lunastra is really fun too. Lunastra's up there. Um, I like Kirin a lot. A lot, a lot. Um, but Near Gigante is like number one by, by a mile. I love his design. I love his fight. I love his moveset. I love his gear. What are your favorite monsters? Ben, if you can check if there's an HDR option for me, thanks. Yeah, we're not playing, we're just playing in 1080p. We're not playing in 4K. Um, and yeah, I can check if there's an HDR option for you for sure. I don't have the capabilities for that, unfortunately. I don't see it. Vol for me? Yeah, Vol Zuck is cool. Uh, Arch Tempered Vol Hazak is like the. gives me nightmares. It's so tough for me. Yeah, what are your guys' favorite monsters? Curious to know. It can be outside of world too if you're interested. Ben, did you hunt an Arch Tempered Kirin? I don't remember if I've hunted an, hunted an Arch Tempered Kirin. I've definitely done a Tempered Kirin. Uh, but I don't know if I've done Arch Tempered. I don't think I have. Don't let me down. Mine is maybe Teostra. Teostra is really fun. Uh, I remember when I first sat, fought Teostra and I got one hitted by the uh, the giant explosion the very first time. I was like, oh, I have some Elder Dragons, cool. Any love for Kushala? Actually, no, unfortunately. Um, once I did that fight, I was like, never again. Come back soon. That fight was really annoying for me. Um, I probably just didn't know how to deal with it, but like the constant tornadoes were a nightmare. I didn't think it was hard, like it wasn't doing a ton of damage to me. It was just being able to hit it uh, was a struggle. Hello. Okay, let me talk to you. You like Odo Garon the best? He has nice armor, he's really fun to fight once you get used to his moveset. I think I've killed him the most. Nice, yeah, Odo Garon's fun. Odo Garon's pretty manageable. That bleeding, though. Um, the bleeding isn't as annoying as Effluvium is to deal with to me. Ben, you plan on playing Generations Ultimate when that comes out? Yep, we'll be doing weekly hunts for Generations Ultimate when that comes out. You bet, you bet. Working hard? Good luck. Okay. Otto Garon was the first fight where I was kind of overwhelmed. I could see that. Um, in the beta, especially, and it helps that there was a beta, because it would have been more overwhelming in the main game, but I remember Anjanath being like a bit of a struggle Let's at first. That was kind of the first one where I was like, ah. But we got there. And Nier, Nier, Nier Gigante gave me the most trouble in the story. For sure. You've done well. We're the ones to get it done. The fifth has an urgent mission. Partner, you'd better come see me. Hey there. We gotta talk to you too. How are you feeling? Remember having fun with you and Huber fighting Barath in the beta? Yeah, I remember that. Completely different time. We were like, 
clump together to use the powder. <laughs> yeah. A different time. It was very fun, though. Handler, who's at the canteen? I wonder how active the Monster Hunter World community is right now. Been a while since I played this. Uh, on PS4, at least, it seems pretty active. Hey there, partner. I don't think you'll struggle to find people to play with, especially if you get involved with weekly hunts. Puke, puke, Tom. Sigma with no sub tanks is hard. Many minutes. Why? Oh man, you gotta have Sigma sub tanks for Sigma. Is that just like a self-imposed challenge interface? Looks like we're about where we're gonna be with the charge blade right now. By the way, just wanted to say thank you for always being so awesome at streaming and keeping in touch with chat. I'm sure me and many others appreciate it. No problem. No problem. I'm glad you guys are in it. Basically been trying to beat the whole game without using one. Nice, dude. I respect the challenge, but uh, Sigma without a sub-tank sounds like a nightmare. Alright, let's deal with this Puke Puke. Do we have? Yeah, we have a North... Eastern camp open. Let's go there. Mpuke Puke! Come down now. Come now.
energy. Was any of this in this game when it comes on PC, but I'm new to Monster Hunter. Is there a longevity and a good in-game? Yeah, absolutely. Um, there's a lot of longevity. Not as much as past Monster Hunters, but there's a lot of longevity. Um, like, you can get a couple of months out of this game, no problem. Um, and they've been really good about updates. So they're constantly adding new monsters, new events to make it fun. Uh, I think in terms of like longevity and active players, that shouldn't be a concern that you have. Oh, we charge it too long, I think. Charge too long. We need to sharpen well as well. We're bad on the sharpening. This is kind of bullying. <laughs> Uh, this Terry, you're just going to be ignored if you keep approaching the question that same way every time. That's not a good way to get what you want, man. change the target cam too. Charge blade for the win? Yeah, man. It's... Would it be worth it just to like get it ready to go?
When are you going to convince Ian to release a studio recording of his hit Puke Puke song? If we could, if we could live in an ideal world and just spend a stupid amount of money, uh, we would definitely do that. Ben, your webcam sync is... Is the webcam sync off? Okay, we'll change that after this hunt. We've almost got the Puke Puke. We'll get him down here in just a second. Farting. The Puke Puke farting. Uh oh. Poison. We'll get this bigger wasp. That Puke at the root hit. Yeah, we were just being greedy. He was close to death and we were taking hits in ways that we shouldn't have. Really need to get that tail off. There we go! Finally. I thought we had a shield charge there, and we totally did not. Uh, this Siri, I have no problem with you asking for an FPS counter, man, um, but constantly handing about it every, like, 10 seconds and then getting really rude about it is not a good way to go about it. I, like I said, I have no problem answering questions, but everyone else in this chat can be uh, polite about it. There's no reason why you can't, too. Uh, will there be a demo for this game to see if it wants real before purchasing? Not that I know of, no. So we can uh, turn the FPS counter after the hunt. Um.
Um, how do you... Somebody's telling me that you can do it in Steam. How do you do it in Steam? I actually don't know. I can turn on fraps. That might be the easiest way to go about it. Steam overlay in game settings. Okay. okay. Let's see. Why do we have this interface for Steam overlay? It might just be because we're. Having a controller plugged in, which is not what we want. Here, I don't know if you guys can see the fraps. You've done well. Listen up. Time to begin the Elder Dragon investigation. Make sure you know what you need to do. You guys can see the fraps? Okay, nice. So now we Good need stuff. to protect the scholars. Let's regroup at the Wildspire Waste. Yeah, so the frame the frame rate is uh, uncapped at the moment. Just FYI. And we do have it on high. Obviously, we can smooth that out if we lower it. I think that guy left. Hey there, There's no point in getting riled up about him. Did you start a fresh save? You have to, Wingatakus. You can't carry progress over to the PC version. <laughs> sure. Bye, Ben. Have fun playing. Thanks, Sivorn. It's on high, not highest. Yep, that's correct. It's on high. Um, so we're getting between like 48 and 60. Here, instead of doing this, let's just go on an expedition and we can test out the frame rate on these settings. Oh, that's right. Cam desync settings. Thanks, guys. Happens at least once per stream. All right. Should be fixed now. Uh, what GPU do I have that's in the title of the stream? Thanks a lot. Yeah, no problem. Please let me know when the cam goes out of sync. It's super annoying that it does that. Uh, what FPS does the PS4 version run at? 30? Yes, that's correct. It runs at 30. All right. So here, we can, we're can we on high settings right now, guys. If you want to take a look. Here, we'll go to advanced graphics. We're prioritizing resolution. Um, just like with the console versions, there's different options that you can choose. So you can prioritize frame rate. Um... We're actually not... Yeah, you can prioritize frame rate, you can prioritize resolution, which we've been doing this whole time. Um, we'll run around and we can see how the frame rate holds up. And we can like turn it down, turn it up to see what happens. So yeah, like right now we're hovering around 50. Uh, we actually did turn off the audio rendering call uh, that was suggested earlier, and we turned that off here. Or I thought we turned it off. No, we didn't. Okay. Thank you, Schmuckford. Yeah. There we go. I actually thought that that was off, 
I must have changed it and didn't realize it. Good call. Okay, so now we should be getting... There we go. Okay. Yeah, this is so much better. Yeah, I thought that was off. So, like, now we're getting a nice, consistent 60. This is so much better. Holy shit. Schmuckford saved the day. Um, we can try to get into some fighting, too. Look at that. Yeah, that's weird that that was, like, bottlenecking the frame rate. I wonder why. Um, I actually don't know the refresh rate for this monitor that I'm using. It's a super old monitor. I need a new monitor pretty badly. Not so solid. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's not, it's not rock solid for sure, but it's not, like, dipping wildly. It's sticking around 60. But here, we can get into some fights. Yeah, the rain will have an effect on it too, VG Junkies, right? It's it's staying around sixty. Honestly. Yeah, it looks a lot smoother with that setting change. Yeah, that change has made all the difference in the world. What was this volume rendering setting on before that you turned off? Yeah, so I don't know why this does this. I cannot explain it to you. But if you go to graphics and you go to advanced graphics settings, there is this volume rendering quality that seems to be affecting the FPS. And if you just turn that off, it runs so much better. I want to know how it plays when you play it normally. I'm this area. I'm trying to play it as normal as possible, man. We're not. We're not staring at the dirt. Try turning VSync off. Sure, we can turn VSync off. Um, be forewarned on screen tearing. Of course, yeah, we're already getting tearing. You could see the FPS drops in the city. That's because we had that setting turned on. We've only turned it off since we've been out on this quest. Okay, we're gonna turn VSync back on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm aware that I'm aware of what VSync is for. But thank you. Um, we can go fight a big monster and see how that affects things, but it shouldn't too much here. Oh, God. I don't know what happened there. We have not had a dip like that before. Oh, God. I was going to fast travel, but let's see if something like that happens again. Yeah, the rain is having an effect, too. I wish it wasn't raining. What's my favorite monster? Near Gigante is my favorite monster. P2 
PC version seems way donker than console versions. I've actually turned the brightness down. Uh, we can, t yeah, we're getting dips all of a sudden. Getting dips, which is not good. Uh, I can turn the brightness up a little bit if you guys want. I'll give it a, a nice tick. Um, and the volume rendering, also turning that off also made it a lot darker. Yeah, we're not even at half brightness. Um, I prefer it a little bit darker. That's what I'm used to on console. But we can turn it up even more if you guys want. Here, it's fast travel. I am worried about the weird dips that we were getting when we were climbing up the tree. I don't know what caused that, but... You guys want it a little... It also looks different on my screen than you guys see on stream. And so we get a little bit of a disconnect there, too. Here, we can go up to half brightness. So, like, it's too bright for me now, but it might look really good for you guys. Is that better for you? Because here it's too light for me. Looks sort of washed out that bright. Okay, we went too far. Go down to like 75%. It was hard to see much of anything when you guys when you were inside the tree earlier. Okay, cool. We'll find that looks good. Okay, let me know. Let me know if you think this looks good. We'll hunt a puke puke. See how the frame rate holds up. At least for a little bit, anyway. So it's dipping a little bit, but it's hovering around 60 pretty well in the rain. You could turn the brightness on your monitor down. I'm not going to do that right now, but that's a good suggestion. When you get FPS dips on Teo Supernova and messes up the dodge. Yeah, unfortunately we can't test out a Teo. That would be a good idea. Okay, now's your chance. Hurry PC up. version's looking really good. Stuff. Yeah. Sorry about the, the volume rendering thing being on. That was affecting the frame rate so much. But yeah, it's been pretty consistent and smooth so far. In this Puka Puka hunt. Are we gonna make it? No. I can charge it on Oh no, I thought I was using it. We're not. Rip me. I wanna play badly, it looks great. Yeah, it does look good. The 60 frames makes all the difference. Um, but yeah, if you do get the game, be definitely aware of that volume rendering setting. Alright, his tail is full. Sorry, I'm like trying to pay attention to you guys and the FPS and the game. I'm getting a little bit overwhelmed. But that's on me, that's not on you guys. Yeah, so once again, if you do get this game and you're having some FPS hangups, go to display, go down to advanced graphic settings, and then go down to volume rendering quality, and then turn that off. 
and you'll be in for a much better time. All right, should we do another quest? I um, mean, we can see how the FPS is in HQ too. Gotta use those cylinders, yeah. We were using them earlier. Nothing like doing 14k damage on Octopath, nice. Yeah, I'm excited for that review to be done. Uh, is that DDR3 or 4? Uh, it's DDR3 for the RAM. It's DDR3. So now we need to protect the scholars. Let's regroup at the Wildspire Waste. <laughs> We completed bounties. Uh, we should register some more, believe it or not. Glad I held off on getting this until the PC release. Nice, man. Yeah, I think it was worth it. I think the wait was worth it to be quite honest with you. All right. So we can take a tour around the town, see how the frames hold up. Again, pretty solid. Pretty, pretty solid. A little bit of a dip here and there. What do you think with low volume rendering? That's a good idea. Let's test it out. See, that like affects the brightness of it too. Maybe low is the way to go for this. Uh, no, we're getting slightly more substantial dips. Instead of like 57, I saw one down to 55. Yeah, we're getting, we're getting slightly sharper dips. You think the game looks better with it off? Let's do another comparison. It does the video with it off. I think you're just right. Look at that. It's like a purple sheen all over it. Yeah, I think we're going to keep it off. What a weird thing. What is even that setting? I don't know, to be honest with you. I don't know what that dictates. Ooh, cutscene. All right, let's see how the FPS is during the cutscene, too. Volume is fog. It gives the game its rainforest moisture. Interesting. Thank you, Lukensky. Solid, pretty solid at sixty. We've waited this long to get our hands on the evidence we need. 
Don't get us killed now, Hunter. I hardly slept a wink last night. Don't get us so killed now, Hunter. This new piece of evidence. The slag was found in the desert area of the wildfire. Guide us there safely, partner. Yeah, I think I prefer it with it off, to be honest with you. I love how we don't even offer to help them push the cart. I guess we are the hunter. We are protecting them. But like, help out, man. Yes. The wild spire waste features a mixture of dry land and swamps, which naturally supports its own unique ecosystem. I think you found the sweet spot for brightness. Game looks real good now. Yeah, I think this is, looks better than ever for us. For sure. We didn't restock the Hey, look! A waterfall! The water filters down through the sand and collects in the lower areas, thus creating Soak it in, fire. boys. Oh, great. We get to go uphill now. Come on now, my dear. With one hand, you could push as much as they are, yeah. This poor little guy having to push this cart all by himself. Have they done any DMC DLC yet? Yeah, they have. Um, you can get an ebony, an ivory, or a moat. Uh, you can get the Dante whole getup. You can get the coat, you can get the boots, you can get the hair, get the sword. Look at that. It's pretty sick. Um, and during the special Devil May Cry quest, it plays DMC music, which is pretty cool. They have adapted excellently to the dry climate. I am not on SSD, you know. The fruit scattered throughout the area has a hard shell that helps retain moisture. Did you see the trailer for Fallout 4 Miami? It's a community made modern PC, new world, new story. That sounds cool. I'll have to check that out. I didn't know about it. Yeah, as far as crossover stuff, they've done DMC, they've done Mega Man. What else have they done? Is that it? Do you mean? They're going to be doing uh, Final Can Fantasy XIV next week. Now? Look, the wildfire. That's oh, Street Fighter. Fight right, of course. For. Thank you. Horizon Zero Dawn. Still have a ways to go. Horizon Zero Dawn was the first one. Well, on we go. I love Capcom. You and me both, man. Yeah, I just got Sakura recently, um, thanks to the Summerfest. And Universal Studios Japan, technically, yeah. How did you pick up Monster Hunter so early? This is a review copy. Did you hear that? Everyone, be careful. Mind checking it out for us there, partner? No, oh, dear me! A Rathian! Jumping Jackies! A Rathian! Jumping da 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 da! A Rathian! You know what this means, my friends! I want this guy with me on every hunt. Oh my god! A great Jagras. And run for your life! Go, go, go! Move on through! You might be able to use your slinger to create some kind of noise and distractor. Where? Or maybe the Rathian will just leave us alone. Decker Kane vibes? Total Decker Kane vibes with that guy. Diablo crossover win? Put some poop in our thing. Yeah, that's right. Taste the poop. Yeah, it seems like we've been pretty consistent on frame rate, you guys. 
Should've been nice. It's looking real sharp. Hell hath no fury like a Rathian score. Well, like any Rathian, actually. But she could provide the commission with valuable data. Hunter, I couldn't trouble you for a sample, could I? The game runs so good with volume rendering off, yeah. I would really like to, I wish I could test this with different cards, but 980s what we got at the moment. I was aware that Zora Magdros was an enormous beast, but I am in shock over how gargantuan it really is. Yes, it certainly seems to exceed the measurements in all the guild's writings. I wonder, how many years does it take for a beast like this to grow to such an enormous size? We're actually, we're not on the high preset. I was wrong about that. We're prioritizing resolution, and so there's a mix of settings. But just to go over this one more time, <clears throat> to give you guys a look at what we're doing. When Apseros feel threatened, they assume a defensive posture. Whatever's out there, it could be a danger to us too. We have to be careful. Finally, I thought we'd never get here. Look at it. Glorious. It is absolutely massive. What a magnificent specimen. We're almost there. Keep it up. Old muck track. I'm playing Xenoblade One right now, so this looks unbelievable in comparison. Let's I can imagine. Kind of Zora has left for us. OG Wii game compared to this. Uh, are you streaming on the same PC or have a gaming and streaming PC? I wish I had a streaming PC. Uh, this is my only option. This is the only PC I got. I mean, I have a laptop, but um, that has had its own issues lately. So this is pretty much my only option. So we're streaming and playing from the same PC. PC version, though. It's like you're seeing things with glasses. It just looks so much cleaner. Not really looking forward to starting over in this game for the PC version. I feel you, man. I think that's a fair complaint. I wish they let you transfer your characters over. Scatternut! Remind me to change the targeting settings. Oh god. Shit. Remind me to do that. Oh god, no! We froze completely! What happened? No! Things were going so well! No! Oh god, we might have had a hard crash, yeah. Damn. That shit just crashed. <laughs> I don't think that's the game's fault. That might 
have just been some weird streaming playing combination. I'll have to play it more not streaming and see if we run into any issues like that. All right, well, it is 110. We can wrap it up there. Um, oh, Maximilian had three crashes on PC too. Does he have a streaming setup and a gaming setup? I think he does, doesn't he? Here, we'll get back into it really quick. You get to this boss fight and then it's like, nope, that's all you get. Yeah, I think Max has a separate gaming and streaming PC. He turned it off and never had a crash during the fight after. Huh. Are you talking about the volume rendering? What game has this effect on you when you play it and you don't feel like stopping? For me, it's Are You Remake and Super Metroid. I have that feeling with both of those games, particularly Super Metroid. Because there are spiders in our remake. But uh, Monster Hunter has that for me. Monster Hunter or Mega Man? Mega Man I can get pretty addicted to. Unless I get, like, really hung up on a boss. He crashed every time the CC accuted a flash? Really? That's interesting. Uh-oh. Okay, that has me worried. More thorough testing is needed. Can you play this online? Yes. Or, like, sorry, can so you play this offline? Yes, you can play this offline. Let's regroup at the Wildspire Waste. Remember to change starting. Thank you, Talix Rune. you the best. All right, do you guys want to see the Baroth Hunt before we wrap this up? Let's do the Baroth Hunt at these settings. Um, is there anything I need to turn off to prevent crashing? And let's change the camera. Here we go. Target tags. Large monsters only. Gotta do the scouting again? Do you really? Oh, I don't want to push the card again. I do! I have to push the card again. Oh, no! Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, I don't really want to push the card again. We might just stop it here. No, 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 no. We're not going to do that. Um, but yeah. Here was kind of a rough and tumble look at the PC version of Monster Hunter World. Uh, sorry... We were constantly changing settings. I wish we could have just started the stream like this, which is a bit of a bummer, but we did eventually figure it out. Um, I don't know. Fuck it, maybe we'll just do the carding again. All right, let me use the bathroom. We'll do it one more time. We'll end on a high note. I'll be right back, chat. People seem to want Baroth. One second, we'll pee and we'll do Baroth.
All right, we're back. So what we need to do, we just need to restock on some items. And we should be good to go. Cool. And let's actually, here, let's, we don't need this stuff. We don't even need raw meat, to be honest with you. Do we have antidotes on our radio menu? I'm not sure that we do. Alright, pray for not crashing. Give me your energy so we don't crash the game. Hope for the best. <clears throat> oh my god, this looks so good now. The lighting is really nice. Uh, we don't have fraps on. Here, let me turn them on real quick. Hold on. I actually th think that might have caused it to crash. No! Monster Hunter! Yeah, that caused it to crash. Okay, so we'll have fraps going. It's like... That's so weird that it that just booting up fraps made it do that. Why not use the Steam FPS overlay? I honestly don't know how. It seems so simple. Uh, but when we tried to put it on. Booting up Fraps to it or was it alt-tabbing out? I actually haven't had problems alt-tabbing out before. So I I want to say it was Fraps. Um, but yeah, I've alt-tabbed a few times with it and haven't had any problems. I can't say that with absolute certainty, but... Like, there I alt-tabbed out and it seemed alright. Do you have GeForce Experience installed? I do have GeForce Experience installed, yeah. Now it's not recognizing my controller. Why must you do this to me again? What the hell? What the hell is happening? No crossplay between PC and PS4, right? No. Why is it recognizing the controller in the second slot now? All right, let's unplug. Let's plug back in. Why? Here, we're gonna exit fraps. So in Steam, how do you turn on the FPS counter? I'm sure it's just a simple toggle. That's so weird. Why, why is the controller assigned to the second slot? Teams won't show up on OBS unless you have overlay captures. Oh, okay. So it won't show up in OBS. Steam settings, in-game, in-game FPS. All right, I see the option. It'll show up for you, I think. Okay, but it won't show up for you guys, right?
How do you change the uh, controller settings? How do you uninstall Windows? It's funny. So what's going on, chat, is the Xbox 360 controller. Um, it says that it's player two, and we need it to be player one. I'm not sure if it thinks there's multiple controllers in or what. All right, controller, general controller settings. Identify, okay. It seems to be working here, which is good. We've got that. You have to reboot. Steam's recognizing it now, so maybe Monster Hunter will. Is your PS4 controller still connected? No, the only controller I have connected uh, is the 360 controller. Alright, let's hope this works. Alright, it's recognizing the controller. Look at that. Okay. So what we're going to do to give you guys the FPS counter, because I'm not seeing the in-game counter, is we're going to exit, we're going to open up fraps, we're going to have fraps running first, so you guys can see the frames. Then we're going to boot up Monster Hunter. We're going to cross our fingers that we don't crash. All right, there's the counter. I don't know if you guys can see it yet. Cross your fingers, boys. Uh, I'm playing on 1080p right now. Can you guys not see it? I can see it. But when I have frap, this is nonsense. Okay, so when I have fraps turned on, it doesn't recognize the controller. When I have fraps turned on, and you guys can't see the FPS counter, and it's not recognizing my controller. But, if we quit, okay, and we turn off fraps, and we boot it up, it'll recognize the controller. I know you guys want to see the frames, and I totally don't blame you. We might just do this last quest without an SPS counter. I wish there was one in-game that we could just easily toggle on, but... Uh, does the GeForce Experience overlay have an FPS counter? Yes, it does? Okay, cool. HUD layout. Oh, look at that! There it is! Okay, so I see it. I don't know if you guys see it. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's showing up on your end. I see a 60 in the corner, though. Okay. Yeah, you guys can't see it. That's a huge bummer. But at least it's recognizing the controller. But yeah, I promise you the GeForce Experience FPS counter is on. No, the, it's on the left side, not the right side, so the camera's not covering it.
Yeah, I think it's an overlay problem. So now we need to protect the scholars. Let's regroup at the Wildspire Waste. Yeah. Are there DualShock button prompts? I've only tested it with a 360 controller. Um, so I don't know if you get the prompts if you plug in a PS4 controller. All right, let's make sure our settings are not forked. Yeah, we're running on 1080p. We have the volume rendering quality off. We got the brightness good. That's so weird that it wouldn't recognize the controller with fraps on. I'm sure if we just rebooted the PC, it might be fine, but let's just, let's just pray for not a crash. Uh, yeah, the counter can be moved to basically any corner you want, which is nice. We have it appearing in the left corner. It's just because it's an overlay, I don't think you guys can see it. Is it running at 60 FPS? Yeah, right now it's at 61 frames. Um, if you actually back up, if you go into the archives, you can see it with the fraps. And it, it hovers with the volume rendering quality turned off. Um, it runs around 60 frames pretty consistently. Not perfectly, but decently. Yeah, it's at 60 right now. way we'll bump up our health at the start of the quest you guys <sighs> the wild spire wastes like you've never seen them before all right, so just please hope that it doesn't crash. <laughs> Success or failure, though? This will probably okay. be the last one. Got it. We've waited this long to get our hands on the evidence we need. Don't get us killed now, Hunter. I hardly slept the Man, strong Decker Kane vibes so from that guy. To go out and see this new piece of evidence. The slag was found in the desert area of the Wildspire. Guide us there safely, partner. Uh, it doesn't look like OBS by default captures overlays, but you can switch it on. Yeah, if you could tell me how to switch that on, I'd be happy to do it. One thing's for sure. The environment here is completely different from the ancient forest. Yes. Let me tell you about the real money auction house. I love the slide attack so much. It's just such a badass move. Stay a while and kill the monster. Hey, yeah, that's pretty funny. The water filters down through the sand and collects in the lower areas, thus creating a mire. Oh, great. Man, look at that water. We get to go uphill now. Pretty, pretty, on, pretty now, nice. Handler, put your back in it. Yeah, we'll try to take a look around so you guys can see the full breadth 
of the PC version. Let me know if there's anything specifically you want me to focus on. Here, let's get some. Look at that insect. Back here. Is that some type of beetle? The wildlife here are quite resilient creatures. <laughs> they have adapted excellently to the dry climate. Even the plants have learned to survive. The fruit scattered throughout the area has a hard shell that helps retain moisture. Are you planning to hunt Rathalos in Final Fantasy XIV? I'm going to try, man. Um, I have a lot on my plan at the moment, but I've installed Final Fantasy XIV, and like, I might try to lose some sleep to get myself caught up so I could fight Rathalos. I just really want to do it. No guarantees that I'm going to be able to, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try to grind it out. How's the frame rate so far? The frame rate has been pretty... Pretty close to 60 at most times. I think it's like the most accurate way of saying it. Look at that flashback, though. Look, the wildfire. That's where we'll find what we came for. But we still have a ways to go. Well, on we go. Should know Ben is running at 4K. We are running at 1080p, unfortunately. Yeah, the streaming is eating up some some performance for those of you who are just joining us. All right, cool. We got the health, boys. Did you hear that? Everyone, be careful. Hey, do you think it's a Rathian? Mind checking it out for us, their partner. All right, so we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to try to find the poop and shoot the poop at her. You know what this means, my friends. In times like these, it is uh, important to uh, stay calm and run for your life. Go, go, go. Just move on through. Ooh, give me those antidotes, You might be please. able to use your slinger to create some kind of noise and distract her. I thought the poop was up here. Now, run! Whatever. Go, go, go! Run for your life! I love how you don't even have to do anything. You're just like, oh, it didn't see us at all. I think the Rathian made the poop. I think you're right, Talix. I think the Rathian pooped, and then we flung her own poop at her. What is this game rated? Scategorical flinging. Phew. That was horrifyingly close. Hell hath no fury These like poor little guys. Before. Well, like any Rathian, actually. But she could provide the commission with valuable data. Hunter, I couldn't trouble you for a sample, could I? Is that really Deckard Cain's voice? I don't know who voices that character, so I guess it's not impossible. Oh look, Absaros. An herbivore native to this region. Let's get region. the scatter net. Hey, why are they running? They look scared. Looks smooth and nice, doesn't it? Though it doesn't look when so smooth, Absaros so nice. Feel threatened. They assume a defensive posture. Whatever's out there, it could be a danger to us too. We have to be careful. 
Look at the detail in these monsters, man. When is Don gonna play Monster Hunter World? He'd be so into this. Monster Hunter was made for Don. He would appreciate the love and care that went into these monsters. Look at how the sun reflects off their shells. It's it's amazing. Like it's honestly amazing. So silky. So smooth. Watch we crash immediately. Let's see what kind of present Zora Magdaros has left for us. Uh, I should get my Pelicos in New Year. I forgot Deckard Kane was in Hots. Man, I might reinstall Hots just to check out Deckard Kane. What a good addition. All right, moment of truth, boys. Do we crash on the Baroth fight? What is Hots? Here's the storm. The Blizzard Nova. Let's do this. Look at that face. Ah, eat this, Baroth. Come on. You see that Groot? Yeah, I see where you're coming from. Keep sliding. We, keep, we gotta stop hitting that button. The sidestep is so nice. It just lets you get out of everything so quickly. Charge blade OP. We're gonna go for it. We're gonna go for the big one. Sharpen actually. Where's his health bar? Uh, monsters do not have health bars. Yeah, we're gonna try to.
We're gonna wait for the shield to go out. And then we're gonna put the files in the shield again. Not far enough. Staggered. Whoa, now. Oh, God, no! Diablos, no! Diablos, no! Okay, all right, all right. Hi, friend. We're okay. Oh, do we not get first aid meds? Whoopsies, we'll just use a potion. Diablo Snow, don't suck me in. We gotta, at some point, practice our guard, our guard points if we want to be really smoking six styling. Do you have its ultra wide monitor capable? Yes, uh, I believe Eric's was playing an ultra wide monitor. I'm I'm pretty sure I'm like seventy five percent sure that it's ultra wide monitor compatible. Diablos is a good monster practice zone. Yeah, the charges. For sure, for sure. No, nope, that's not what I want. That's what I want. Thank you. Oh god, okay. Sometimes that just shoots out in front. But now we're, we're screwing our stuff recovery. Yeah, we deserve that. We absolutely deserve that. Yeah, you go that way. How about it, huh? Yeah, yeah, we messed up, Hammer. We messed up. We'll top ourselves off here. Just wait for it to ram in the other direction. Let's not get wet again. Don't hit the head. Oh, we didn't have enough shield. God damn it. Okay. We're messing up everything. Gotta put the files into our shield first. Actually, let's go ahead and get you. Uh, was it? It does not support widescreen unless you're using it to get black bars on the side. Really? So it doesn't have ultra right support? Okay, I was not 100% sure. That is a real bummer to hear. Thank you for checking on that chat. Let's take this guy down. Ooh, there should be a paratoad like right underneath him. Let's see if we can let's see if we can sneak up. We cannot. Uh 
Uh, we'll go for a mount here. Ben, did you watch the trailer for Season 2 of Castlevania? I did, man. I did. Hype through the roof. 10 out of 10 hype for Castlevania Season 2. Uh, they showed the right stuff. And by that, I just mean Alucard being amazing. So he's almost dead. We'll just sharpen. And we're good to go. there. Get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. Oh, I thought we would jump over that for sure. Damn. Alright. Let's not fuck it up right at the end, huh? Forward slash. Charge. Do that. Shield. I have almost the same frame. Uh, what are you getting? It's been, honestly, this whole fight, it's been 60. It has honestly been 60 according to the G Force frame count. Thanks, Palico. Oh, we charged for too long. God damn. Can't do that. Trying to get in the sword there. I like couldn't see myself in the water. We should be able to feel it though. The sword charge.
That's a thorn pot, a powerful type of slinger ammo. Attacking the part it's latched onto deals blunt damage. Finally. Focus taunts, yeah. Sorry, I haven't been talking at all. Still trying to, like, use the charge blade well. There's just a lot you have to handle, like getting your files, putting it in the shield, getting it on the sword. Uh, so I was definitely a little bit overwhelmed with the charge blade there, but we got it. We got it down. I, I think the thing for me that's hard is I get so excited when I have the files in and I have it in my shield, and I just want to keep swinging the axe around. There were times where I was going into like the circle combo with the axe, where I just shouldn't have. I should have just done a hit and gotten out. It's been a little bit too greedy, but it's fun. The charge blade is really fun. You do have to be focused with it. We're playing at 1080p. We're playing at 1080p. But yeah, we did it. We didn't crash! We didn't crash at all, boys. We got through the hunt, we didn't crash, we're running at 60 frames per second. It's so good. Uh, charge Blade, how's the Charge Blade working out for you? Honestly, I think the Charge Blade is some of the most fun I've had with this game. Oh, it's just a fun weapon to learn. Glad you're back. Boy, needing to constantly resharp though. Oh, don't worry. I found a safe place for the scholars to hide. I guess I'll go round them up. <laughs> Wait for us back at camp. Thank you, Sophie, for the no crash. Yeah, everybody, Sophie Wall, thanks, Sophie, for having no crashing there. You Who was there. her? Are you part of the Fifth Fleet? She sacrificed for us. Then that means the Elder Crossing is upon us again. The years fly by faster than I can count them. I, too, am a hunter of the First Fleet. Might I trouble you to share your tale with me? Huh? Sure. Let's find a suitable place. Um, this is out on the 9th. I should have put this in the in the title, but uh, this is an early access copy of it. That's what it is. So that's why we're playing early. My old friends are well. Praise be. It sounds like the good scholars are as incorrigible as ever. Might I ask, are you tracking the monster that dropped that This guy's in flag? Dragon's Dogma. I as well. It seems so easy. Follow the trail, find the truth. Well, it has been a pleasure. Nearby you will find my camp. I trust it will be of some avail to you and the others. Please pass a message on to the commander that I am safe. But a force compels me on, and I intend to see where it takes me. 
If you two feel so compelled, then we will cross paths again. At the end of all of this. Um, if you're interested in me messing around with the, the mouse and keyboard controls, I did do a little tiny bit of bow earlier. Uh, I didn't do it very well, but I did fumble with the mouse and keyboard controls a little bit. Was that what I'm just, it was? I've been playing a lot of Monster Hunter and controller, and so I'm just used to it. That's all. Cool. So we took on the Baroth. We used to charge blade. We crashed the game. We didn't turn off volume rendering until way later. But hey, in the end, it all ended up okay. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream. I hope this gave you at least a somewhat decent look at Monster Hunter NPC. Uh, we're going to be playing more of it uh, when it comes out on the 9th. So see. Monster Hunter World PC comes out on the 9th. And we'll be doing more of that then, and then we'll be alternating between Monster Hunter World PC and Generations Ultimate on Switch. If you guys are into Monster Hunter, this is the place to be. Uh, we have a very active community here. We have people super enthusiastic and super knowledgeable about Monster Hunter, a lot more knowledgeable than I am. Um, so if you want to get involved, consider being part of the Easy Allies community and checking that out. I'm actually five minutes until I'm Capcom banned from streaming this. We can stream for a maximum of three hours. Next week, though, we're going to be playing uh, Monster Hunter World on PS4. We're going to be doing the Behemoth Final Fantasy XIV crossover event that happens uh, ne early next week, and so look out for that. I'm going to try to get as many allies involved in that as I possibly can. So, yeah. Thanks, everybody. Uh, hope you had a good time, and I will see you next week. Also be doing Suicoden 2 next week, continuing that journey. Alright, bye, everybody.